I don't know. He may gear you down in here, too. If it's like a cover two look and you've got a squat corner, it's safe. You may throw it at your back hip and kind of sit you in the hole. So you've got to, after you accelerate out of the break, you've got to kind of get yourself into a glide mode. You don't want to go full speed like you did at the end. And that's Here, watch out. just from, from experience of doing it. I don't expect he's probably the first couple of slams he's really been overcoached. I'm going to try to give him the best stuff. Because this is me staying on my feet. Here we go. Here we go. And you can, you can, Alex, you can see some kind of time. Yeah, he's got some things. He's got some things. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Eventually, I'll get to it back in. the other thing too, if you get a guy that has, if you get a receiver that has a problem, running back or tight end or anybody that has a problem with cutting routes short, all you need to do is tell them to switch their feet, put their outside foot up and take four steps. And that's how you eliminate that problem. If you've got a receiver back at, you know, in, the, in the cottage road that keeps cutting the route short, say, hey, switch your feet and take four steps. Because then you're going to go one, two, three, Four and get on the outside. So you can recognize that as a quarterback who can help you know, with the defense too. Let's try this. I don't want to wear your arm out now, so I know I want you to play this ball. Nice effort, nice effort. All right, let's bring our splits down. Everybody's going to be a slot. What I want to do now is... 